Prim's algorithm for D1 finds the minimal spanning tree to connecting the nodes in the network. So we're looking for a minimal spanning tree. Now some simple examples of this. If you've got just two nodes then you just require one arc to connect. If you had three nodes then to connect the nodes together would require just two arcs in some order. There's a route between the nodes with just two arcs. If you had four nodes then as long as you've got three arcs in some configuration then all the nodes will be connected. So there's always one less arc required than nodes. Two nodes, one arc, three nodes, two arcs, four nodes, three arcs and so on and so forth. Now PRIMS is a way of finding the smallest or lowest way of connecting a given number of nodes. And in this case we've got five nodes, A, B, C, D and E. And I want to find the smallest way of connecting these five nodes. Now PRIMS works best in a table. It's a source of very easy marks, but just watch this carefully. We begin by choosing what's called an arbitrary node, though often in the exam they will give you which node to start on. We're going to start on node A. So we're going to place node A into the network. To do this, we tick that node, or label it 1, and cross that node off. So I've ticked the column and I've crossed out the row. That node is now in the network. And these numbers which I've crossed off we cannot now use. I then look down at the ticked column to look for the closest node to node A. This is D. Let's circle it. So we can connect A to D with just an arc of length 1. So D ticket is now in the network and we cross it off. D is now in. I don't want to add it in again using unnecessary arcs. Remember, once a row has been crossed off we can no longer use the numbers in that row. We've now got A and D in the network. Now the we now repeat this algorithm over and over again. We always look down all the ticked columns. I've now got two tick columns and say what's the closest node to these two tick columns? There's a 3, a 2, a 4 and a 10. Well the 2 is the next lowest. I circle it. C is now in the network and I cross C off. And repeat. I look down all the tick columns, a 3, a 5 and a 10. The 3 is the closest. B is now in the network. I tick B and cross off the rest of the row. And now look down A, B, D and C. Worth pointing out now, I didn't mention before, the infinities represent no connection. But down these four columns, the 1 is the next lowest, so E is now in the network, I therefore cross off E. I have now got four arcs, and there were five nodes, so I must have the minimal spanning tree. We can then construct it if asked, using a very simple diagram. So, node A connects to B, C and D. 
So B, C, and D. B was 3, C was 2, and D was 1. E connects to C to B, E to B, with a weight of 1. And there's my minimal spanning tree. Total weight, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that is Prim's algorithm in action.